Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top. So let's get to it. Let's talk about the situation with King Face, a.k.a. Larry Henry. He is an activist for the community with Donald Trump and Candace Owen. He is a Donald Trump supporter. And a lot of people call him a coon, too, as well. But he has been in a coma, allegedly, for a while now. And, yes, there's been pictures of him in a coma, allegedly, because he has kidney failures. But there is a young lady... Her name or what she goes by on Instagram is Bianca. And she is basically saying that King Face is not in the hospital because he has kidney failure or whatever they're saying that he has. But he is in the hospital because he has HIV or maybe full-blown AIDS. This is what she is alleging about King Face. And she also says that King Face gave it to her too as well. And we know King Face, a.k.a. Larry Henry, is actually married. So I don't know if his wife has it, if his wife knows that he was cheating on her with this young lady. But this young lady says that she con contracted the virus from King Face. I was like, OMG, what is going on with this situation? And yes, she she recently did an interview with um Clout Wars, and basically she's explaining what is going on with her, where she was messing around with King Face. He ended up giving her chlamydia. Then right after that, she ended up catching, you know, HIV too as well. I was like, what is going on with this situation? This is crazy. And she says that she met King Face in March 13th of 2019. And shortly after, they was involved with intimacy. And then she started experiencing type of symptoms. She started feeling weird. She started feeling like something was going on with her body. And she had no idea what was going on with her body. She was getting boils. She was getting, you know, different things. And she was having a high fever. She was getting hives. She was getting rashes. So she went to the doctor and she got tested for all the disease above and everything came back negative that she was clear then she had another incident where she was really sick and she felt really sick i mean like she didn't feel like herself she felt like she was gonna leave this earth then she went back to the doctors and she got tested again for hiv and come to find out it was positive because when she first got tested it was in the incubation period where it was not showing up in her blood and she said that she ended up confronting face King face and let him know that she was, you know, HIV positive. And, you know, he said to her, I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to stay with you forever. And he kind of had like tears in his eyes. And she also described how sick he was. Like he had lung problems. He had congestion problems. You know, he was weak. He couldn't work out. He will work. He will wake up sore. He will wake up um, hurting and pain. And, but he never wanted to discuss, you know, the HIV status, whether he had it first or, or whether she had it. Basically, he did not want to talk about his status or her status. He wanted to act like it didn't exist. He wanted it to go away. So I'm just wondering how did, if this is actually true, because this is allegedly, like how did King Face think that he was going to get away with this if this is actually true? Because there are other women that have contacted Bianca, the young lady that you see, alleging that they were infected too by King Face. So you guys tell me what you think about this young man, you know, allegedly affecting women with the, you know, virus. And he does have a GoFundMe. His GoFundMe has raised $69,000, but they need to raise $100,000 to pay his medical bills expense. And um, a lot of people were like, what's going on with this situation? So it hit the, it, I mean, it hit the blog that King Face is out here allegedly passing some unwanted things. He got that tiger blood. Like, what's going on with that situation? But if you have watched um, King Face on Queen's Flip, you know that he can be very loud. He can be very challenging. He can be, be very aggressive. And he talks about controlling women and controlling things. And basically, he controlled um, that YouTube channel over there with the way he talked, he would talk down to women, talk bad to women. It's like he had no respect for women, point blank, period. It's like he loved nobody but himself. I mean, it was just crazy. And then also to watch King Faze pick on and, you know, assault, and saw another, you know, um, cast member or co-host 
um, which is Lansky, and Lansky is just so skinny, he's so weak, he's not a fighter, and King Face assaulted him on camera, act like he was doing something big, and it's like King Face picked on the people that were weak, the people that wouldn't challenge him back, you know, he, it seemed like he had, like, he had a vengeance, he had a vengeance for picking on people that are weak like his his whole demeanor his whole character on queen's flip radio on queen's flip show was just so downright disgusting and dirty and also he talked about and he bragged about how many women he slept with. He said he slept with three women at a time. He said he slept with hundreds and hundreds of women. And women are not good in bed. He has to do all the work. He would downplay women, you know, period. And he would just basically be very braggadocious on his penis and how many women he has conquered. And he was very open about talking about intimate being intimate with women and the things that he did and how he did it, when he did it, and all types of women he messed with. I mean, he was talking about hundreds and hundreds of women that he can, that he have conquered and other women that he is going to conquer too as well. So you guys tell me what you think about this situation. Yes, this is a young black man that was basically representing Candace Owen and representing Donald Trump. And basically, you know, people are calling him a coon and things like that. People don't really have nice things to say about him too as well. But right now, he is in a hospital and it's allegedly it's for kidney failure. His wife hasn't spoke up. We haven't seen his wife spoke up. And we didn't even know that he was married because he really carried himself like a single man. And he talked like he was single, act like he was single. The way he was flirtatious, the way he had intimate, nasty conversations conversations on you know queen's flip show about women it seems like he was a single man but he was married and um it's just a crazy situation this just hit and this is the young lady that allegedly is out here saying that king phase gave her hiv and he has been spreading it around i was like lord have mercy what is really going on with this situation and if you want to see the full detail the full video please go check out clout wars um, basically you can hear the young lady, AKA, I think her name is Bianca, basically explains how, you know, she was going to hold King face down. She was going to be next to him. She didn't really, she understood that he gave her something, but she was going to move forward with him. She was trying to make it work because she felt like, you know, she was damaged goods and she got it from him. So therefore she's going to stay with him and move forward with him. But I guess it didn't work out. And then she also says that other women have contacted her too as well to let her know that they end up catching HIV from King Face, allegedly. And also, it's been reported that this young lady that you see in the video, she has also, you know, reported King Face to the health department too as well back in November of 2019. So you guys tell me what you think about this situation. Like, this is crazy. I'm like, Lord have mercy. This guy was out here, you know, downing black people, downing a lot of things and a lot of people. And then if he's actually was out here going around while he's running with Donald Trump, he's, one, he's running with Candace Owens. And then on top of that, he's out here spreading, allegedly. HIV, no, no, that's some crazy shit. Like, you know, what you do in the dark definitely does come to light. And yes, he is not here to defend himself at all. So basically, it's like you either got to take her word for it or just know. But I guess the most important thing to the situation, the bottom line, is if you were involved with King Faze sexually, please go get checked out. Please go get tested. Please go find out what's going on with your body because you may have been exposed, allegedly, if he does have AIDS. So you guys tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Much love.